Hello and welcome to episode 30 of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, today we're gonna go, I think we have to go back to Chubba Life City though. We have, we're gonna go back there and I think we have to face the, uh, whoever the last, um, honor Pokemon dude is. We just beat, uh, Letrode, so that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah. Let's be off to the village then. Time to report to Con Commander Combado. I skipped the first part by accident, rip. Alright, yeah, ready, let's run. Do you have anything to say? Twenty thousand. Thank you, that's 20,000. I gotta see what's in that. Offline or something. Oops. Hmm. So Gordon Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. He cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question wherever would this Almighty Sinnoh drove the nobles to frenzy? It's it is angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge people in Pokemon? By far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. What is that time space or the space time rip anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on then. Go then to wait. You must be tired. Go on then to the wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. He's shaking. Dinner's on Combado tonight. Eat your fill. What an exciting aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. What a change from the con commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable. All well, I've heard talk about our progression surveyed Pokemon have been gathering ingredients a less a less ordinary or at least less dangerous task it's almost like a fairy tale isn't it how you've fallen to who fallen to us from the sky and gone on to help the people of high sewage so much indeed on such airless duties has earned you a great deal of trust mike it's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Mike. The message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one whit. It doesn't matter one whit where you came from. The part of the survey corpse in your life village now. Oh, you're part of it. Okay. The next day.
Isn't it nice getting up early? Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities such as responding to Commodore's invitations. Today is a timely matter. Well, I got that same invitation. I had to wake up er even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to gross. So much over a nicely little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we all can guess what the commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. You now coiled the frenzy of all of four nobles. It wasn't easy. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. What? But here we are, already preparing to borrow the final noble. Yeah, who turned? Who would have dreamed of? Some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation. Like never does surprise does never stop surprising you. Okay, I'm just I can't read. The only lord left is world is Avalug. That's that ice glacier, isn't it? Which lives in the Lapaster Ice Woods. Woo! He's one of the one largest nobles, according to what Erida told me. Your mission is to quarrel Avalon, the final lord. Perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space time rift as well. Avalon may be the pro noble, but my clan and Galaxy team will have to step up to. It's all this too for the sake of a brighter future. Then tell us, tell us, then let us tell, let us all meet in the cold reaches, or cold reaches of the alabaster Icelands until then. I'm pretty sure I might have to be a higher star for that though. No matter how many of these frenzy Pokemon you make world, the fact remains that you're strange to our world. No small number of people will regard you with a suspicion distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust as many of as many as possible. To do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. Ah. Silene. I have a teleport this one one pull outside at once. Um So you're to survey the Alabasters next. There is a most treacherous climb you will face in all high city. If you intend to go Show me you, you're equal to the challenge of earning your fifth star. Did, have I earned it yet? Witness Pokemon using moves in various styles. Catch Pokemon at different times. Complete such research tasks to raise your rank. Aid with any request that might be found on the professor's blackboard. Am I, I don't think I'm at five stars yet. Um, to be honest, I don't even know how to look, at, look for that. Oh, wait, it should be in the Pokedex, right? Ah, yes. I need quite a bit. Quite a bit. Mm. 
<laughs> okay, so we gotta do some side quests. Okay. Oh yeah, somebody wanted two different hippos. Uh, let's check real quick. to catch an elf for one of those. Show yo the Pokedex entry of Cricket Tune, the completed Pokedex. Signals for Wanda. Mischievous to inspire. I still need to catch a mischievous. <laughs> Let's go and try to catch a Brazzle. Like an alpha one if we can. Maybe not, I will have to cut this episode, uh, episode short. See if we can catch us a an alpha level. You stepped on fool. Wait, is that an alpha? Definitely bigger though. We'll try to catch you then. Oof, okay, you're a lot higher level than these other guys. So I'm just gonna throw an ultra. Why is the water like this? Okay, I have to escape to try to catch it. Interface. A feather ball. I just get it a little bit closer. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I'm gonna say he looks semi bigger.
I'm running, it looks like they have alpha eyes though. I don't care, you can find me. You're not what I'm looking for anyways. Um, man, cricket tune. <laughs> oh, cricket taught. They catch a lot of cricket tunes. Hey, where is the cricket tune? I haven't got one yet, but I have to get completed. It's just poetry. I want to look, look away for a second. Come on, big boy. Oh, I said yes. So that's what I, what I kept hearing. Waiting for him to look away. Ah, oh, damn it. Didn't get the quick catch. Try it again. Look away. Nice. Breaks instantly still. Not so nice. It sucks because these guys, all their eyes look like they're red. That's what throws me off every time. They're kind of small. Just hoping to see a alpha one.
I'm so bad at this. I haven't caught a lot of you, little guys, so. I think it's on me catching the others. Oh yeah, the infinite hit me. Where's your cute little shallow shows? Oh there it's um I am so bad at doing these things. Get mad, kid. Doing this for Pokédex entries. Okay, well, nothing else is going to spawn over here. I'm just curious if we'll get any, uh, puzzles over here. I hope. A lot of Try catching some more. No way, it broke out of it twice or three times. Dude, the amount of BS. So cute. Is that Mr. Mime? That is a Mr. Mime. Please. My heart raced. I already caught an abra, right? Oh my god, there's a lot of them over there. Oh, yeah, I caught male and female. I hope. There was somebody that was asking for him. I forgot who. Man, I was sweating bullets on them, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> okay, we did get a Mr. Mime, which is good. <clears throat> I should give us some extra points. Oh. I'm being slow again. Ah, yeah, bro. I have not caught an Abra. Uh, 
Ale jest jakiś bardziej... Okay, so he's gonna teleport back eventually. Damn, it disappeared. Messed up again. Juked kid. God, as soon as I put my ammo for these things, it immediately disappears. Nice, first ever cop. I have no more Pokeballs. to make a lot more. But I'll be doing a lot of this off camera side quest stuff and probably even more catching Pokemon I believe. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.